Trump is exhausted, y'all. Uh, that's what his campaign saying. So that's the reason why that he's canceling all these interviews and stuff on the TVs and uh, and not doing as many rallies and stuff. So he is worn out, y'all. He is worn out. And I could see why. I mean, that Kamala Harris lady, boy, she is tough on him. She's beating him down. And uh, she did that Fox News interview thing, y'all. I know we went out there and told everybody that, hey, after that interview, her, her campaign's over. Uh, that that's just what we tell each other to make each other feel better, y'all. That ain't true. That ain't true unless there were two interviews because the one I watched, she gave Donald Trump and Fox News a simultaneous beatdown without even batting an eye, y'all. It was terrible for Donald Trump and the Fox Newses. Uh, so bad so that the uh, uh, Donald Trump's man mommy, Sean Hannity, had to get on there and then he started trashing her, trying to make her out to be an angry black woman, y'all. And uh, so Shawnee Mommy wasn't happy about it, and they could clearly see that the Fox News and Donald Trump got a beat down by Kamala Harris. Hey, she ain't scared of them at all, y'all. She ain't scared at all. Matter of fact, I think she's telling them, like, bring it on, biatch, is what she's saying. Um, so, but anyway, that's why they say that he ain't doing it anymore. He is just worn out, y'all. And then that Kamala Harris did a rally, and there were some of us Trump supporters there. And doing heckling and stuff, saying stupid stuff, just, you know, being a, being a Trump supporter, you know. Uh, well, uh, again, y'all, she hurt my feelings. I mean, she told them that you're at the wrong rally, that the rally you're looking for is the smaller one down the street. Dang, uh, that burned a little bit. That stung. Uh, like I said, she ain't scared at all. I mean, she ain't pulling no punches. That's why Trump's exhausted because, I mean, she beat him down at the, beat him down at the debate there. Didn't let him win, was mean to him and stuff like that. And, uh, and then he had to go cry to Shawnee Mommy then, you know, try to make himself feel better and stuff. Saying he got the best the best scores of everybody ever, the best numbers ever. Uh, again, it wasn't true, y'all. That was for us to repeat to each other so we can make each other feel better. It don't work anymore. Um, so... Anyway, if he can't if he can't run for president anymore, then he can't be president. I mean, how's he going to spend four years in the White House, y'all? And he's getting exhausted by getting beat down by Kamala Harris all the time. He can't do it. And we can't be voting for that J.D. Vance. He's one of them Christian nationalists. That ain't us. We ain't Christian nationalists. We're not like extreme Christian that we want to uh, take all the women's rights and the little girls' rights away and have arranged marriages and start taking little girls at 12 years old and stuff like that. That's nasty, y'all. We ain't that. We're, we're just, you know, anti-American, anti-government, amosexual conspiracy theorists, you know? Well, and racist. But anyway, uh, we, ain't, we ain't with that J.D. Vance dude, so, uh, but Trump ain't gonna make it. He, he's, he's exhausted right now, and he ain't even elected yet. So, anyway, uh, I don't know what's going to happen now. He's still got a couple of weeks ahead of him. If he ain't going to be rallying or interviewing and stuff, she's just going to keep putting that smoke on him, y'all. Uh, so, but uh, by the way, if you ain't already follow me on the YT, uh, please do that. Uh, link trees in my bio and uh, click the bell for notifications and all that stuff over there. Please, all right? Uh, Inmate Trump 2024.